All right, as you log in, uh, you know, once you get into my math lab and everything, this is your opening page. Announcements, if I do have any, you know, you can check that. There's not always announcements that I post. It's normally I send emails. Um, but once in a while, I may send an email and post an announcement. Uh, down here is your kind of like your week ahead. And you'll see on Monday the 22nd, it's the pretest. It is due. But again, don't wait till then. Uh, on the 27th, all your work for exam one is due. So what I'm saying is, if you wait till Monday to take the pretest, you've got five days to do about eight assignments and an exam. Not a good idea, okay? So, you know, that's one way to keep track of your due dates. Down here tells you what to work on next. It tells you what's next. So you can even view all assignments. But one thing you need to make sure you do is to run your browser check. Just click here. It'll it'll tell you if everything's good. If you need to, you know, download anything. And nothing will cost you any money, but sometimes you need to update uh, certain items, like a flash player, possibly other things. Um, the how to enter answers. You know, there's things that that'll mess you up um, as far as uh, getting the answers incorrect. And if you just take the time to read through the how to enter answers, you might avoid some of those pitfalls um, and frustrations because you're going to say, well, I got it right. Well, it, who knows what it could be? There's lots of, of reasons why you may have missed it. So take the time to prepare yourself for the class. Okay. Um, and here it even keeps track of your grade. Okay. I've not done anything yet, so I don't have an overall score. All right. So that's kind of your opening page. If you're, you know, uh, listening to this right now, you've been to the start here, okay? And that's where you were to, you know, the introduction in the class tour. Next is your syllabus. Now, I'm going to pick out a couple things of highlight. Um, you know, there's my office phone, um, office location. I'm not really there much in the summertime. Uh, my email address you know, you can get to it in the class, but I'll also show it to you in the next uh, slide there. Um, read through it. You know, course description is what we cover. The book is online. You need to have a calculator that has trig, trigonometry, uh, function, sine, cosine, tangent, and then you know you've got the right calculator. Class requirements. Okay, again, here's the thing about the pretest. But make sure you're logging in. Make sure you're doing what you're supposed to be doing as far as workload. Your time expectations, uh, you know, you can read through this to kind of get an idea of how many hours a week you should be spending on your class. Now, the homework is the next item, and I'll show you that here shortly. Um, you know, 20% of your grade. You can work it as much as you want to earn the score you want. So you can work homework as many times as you want. It'll also stay open past the due date, okay, but it's not a good idea. You know, you should be working them to prepare for the test. Now, there are four tests. That's three regular exams and the final. Everything's explained here about dates and everything, but the final exam must be proctored. Number one time I said that, okay? Y'all are laughing probably going, this guy's crazy. I am because there'll be people that'll be shocked to know that the final exam is proctored. Um, so it must be proctored. The other three tests you take whenever you want uh, at your computer, wherever, okay, as long as they're in by the due date. But the final exam must be taken somewhere, and we will talk about that as well. Um, I allow one retake if you have technical difficulties, but don't get, you know, tell me every exam you've had technical difficulties because then that starts sounding suspicious, okay? I review each exam, so you don't need to email me saying, oh, I just typed stuff in wrong. I will see it, okay? So once you click on exam, you got two hours to finish, no matter if you click out or not, okay? You can't come back to it. I mean, you can come back to it, but the time, it's clock time. All right, so here again is about the proctored exam. You know, uh, we'll talk about that later. Late work, it shouldn't really happen. But if you do miss an exam, I will allow one extension per student, one extension. So here's your grade breakdown, um, and here's withdrawal policy. And there's also more withdrawal policy in the class itself. We'll talk about it. 
college policies. You've got a link there you can follow. And your course outline, this is the breakdown. Now, don't go to the book and start working on Chapter 1. Okay, this is just where, you know, we take the topics from. Okay, because see, Chapter 1's for some in the first exam, some in the second exam. Because, you know, sometimes students get anxious and just start jumping in and don't know what they're doing. So just, you know, listen to what I'm telling you to do and, and you're going to be successful. All right, the instructor information, that is me. Um, that's a several-year-old picture, but I still kind of look the same. Um, there's my phone again, and here's my email address. Best way to contact me is through email. And I will normally get back within 24 hours, except on weekends. Okay. Uh, proctored final exam. Read through this. Don't ask me questions about what can I bring for the final. Because you know what? Right here. It, it, it tells you that. Okay. Um, you've got links to if you want to get it proctored at BCTC, if you're at another KCTCS college, or if you want to use Proctor U and take it from home. Cost about $20, but it allows you to take it through home. But you have to have a web webcam. All right, so please, when it comes time about Proctor Final, don't, don't send me an email asking me about it when it's right here. So please, be a, be a independent learner. That's my goal as teacher is to make you an independent learner. All right, here's your due dates. So not only will you know your due dates by you know the calendar on the opening page but i've also got a sheet here that you can certainly print there you go you got to get a proctor for the final you got to pass the final to be eligible to pass the class no matter what no matter what your average is you must pass the final so that's 60 percent or higher okay so you've got your due dates uh tutoring information you know the link's probably not live yet but hopefully it will be if you need tutoring the next section are your class notes and videos. Again, you know, I break down everything in here about, you know, what you need to be doing as far as your final exam, your regular exams. But the key is, is what provided by me and other people that have taught this class, we have some videos. Now, there's been some trouble with some of them, but I think I've, fix them because students let me know such and such video is not working and then I fix it. So if you come across problems, let me know. But if you want to watch a video, you click on it. Okay, it's going to open in a new window. Now this one's a YouTube. It's one I fixed. So there you go. So so you have resources that allow you, you know, to see some examples and some, you know, uh, some lectures. They're not all mine, but some of them are. Um, if something happens where it won't open, I usually say try to right click on it and then save it maybe to your desktop on your computer and open it from there okay and then every other section usually has either maybe some written examples you know like some typed up notes so you've got videos and you've got notes and that's going to be true for just about every topic we have so take the time to watch the videos all right it's very important it's going to be helpful to you go back to the main menu next item is your homework so here's where all your assignments are. You know, the best way to do it is to just start by one and go on down the list. Don't go to the book to do your work. Your work is here. Excuse me. You can go to the book if you want to see some maybe uh, examples from the book. But go right in line with what's here. And as you can see, that green flag means I have not done the pretest. So the nothing will, you cannot work on anything until you do the pretest. So make sure you do it. I would do it like right now. Uh, it's like, it's the easiest test you'll ever take. But you're acknowledging certain things. So uh, make sure you've, uh, you know, read stuff and you kind of understand what's going on. Uh, next item is the exams. So again, here are your exams. Here's a practice final exam, uh, which also reminds me that there's a practice exam for each test. <coughs> and you can work them as many times as you'd like. So, you know, if you do things correctly, you know, you work through all your homework, give yourself a day or two before the test, do the practice exam, prepare, take the test. Now, to prepare yourself for the final, 
you know, try to do as much as you can without looking back at your notes. Because for the final, you do get one sheet front and back of notes, but you still need to make sure that you're good working some things from memory and kind of preparing for that final. Okay. Uh, study plan, really, that's just if you want to choose something and just work uh, on it, uh, practice, you can certainly do that. It's not graded. It's not required. It's your call because you can do the same thing in your homework by just working things over and over again. But it's there for you. Uh, your grade book will give you a breakdown of your grades. You know, right now, I can show my overall score. I can, you know, break it down from homework and test, whatever. Uh, how do I drop to class? Now, you can drop uh, up to June 21st by 2 p.m. You've got instructions and you've got links. Okay. Uh, the next is your chapter contents. This is your e-text. So, you know, with each chapter, we've got sections. But see, we don't cover every section. So, you know, you need to look at what topic you're working on and what section from the book it is before you jump to it okay so to just to make sure you're doing it correctly but that covers that's the whole book again I'll show you it's an, it's an ebook so if you're in chapter four and you want to go that they have their own videos uh, the e-text you go right to the book okay um, so there it is there's your book all right but just don't go randomly into the book without knowing what t which section you're going to um let's see uh, tools for success you know uh, you can certainly look at the uh, how do I enter answers again. The, the My Math Lab help and support if you have issues. Uh, if you have a graphing calculator, there's a tutorial there. Here is your multimedia library. And not all chapters and sections have videos, animation, but some do. So you can certainly, you know, if we're in chapter one on uh, basic algebra and we're doing scientific notation and I can see well what videos are available to me because I didn't like Bob's video so I'm gonna try one of the book videos okay is there any animation any PowerPoints maybe right and then you can just certainly click on those and, and access what you'd like uh, Pearson Tutor Services have no idea what they do there I don't know if it's free I doubt it but, you know, if you're having issues and you can't make it to the tutoring lab, you might want to look into it. But don't forget, email me. I'll try to do the best I can to help you. I'm usually a pretty nice guy. Um, you know, I'll do what I can. Sometimes it's hard over email, though, to truly, uh, you know, explain the steps. But I'll do the best I can. I'll do the best I can. Um, and discussions, I don't really do that. So you don't need to worry about discussion boards. And then your course tools, you know, if you do want to email me, there we go. You can email me from here. But there's lots of, of ways to, to get help and to contact me. Um, one way that I really haven't shown you yet, um, you know, when we, you know, take a test or, or take a, a homework, um, you can see in here, you know, this is the pretest. But qu click on the question help. Now, with the pretest, you're not going to have some of the resources because it's a pretest. But most of the questions, not all of them, in the help, will we'll have a show and example how to solve this. Ask My Instructor uh, comes to me. So you can click on that, send me the question, and then type in what issue you're having with it so I can help you. But there's a, usually how do I solve this, view an example how to solve this. So there's a lot of help within each question, okay? Um, so, you know, just make sure that, that you know that. Um, use your resources available to you, okay? So that's kind of pretty much it on this tour. Um, you're not going to hurt anything by clicking along here, okay? Now, if you go to the test and you click on a test, then you're going to hurt something, okay? So just make sure that, you know, you're ready to take the test when you're ready to take the test, okay? So, you know, good luck to you. I always want all my students to, uh, you know, make the grade they need to get credit for the course, and I'll do the best I can to help you. But, you know, naturally, it's going to be the amount of time you put in. It, it, it truly does. Um, there's no substitute for practice. Math doesn't come easy. 
Um, you can quit and just, you know, give up or you can just tough it out and do what you have to do to make the grade you want. So I'm always convinced that if a student decides that they're really, really, really going to devote themselves and commit, then they will do well. I really do. I've always believed that. Um, but sometimes people want to take the easy way out. So anyway, um, good luck to you, and I look forward to hearing from you.